please, we really shouldn't have another, especially after this video. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 unhealthy breakfast foods. For this list, while the foods we mention here may be incredibly tasty, it would likely do you more good to avoid consuming these foods regularly than to digest them. While we're certainly not doctors, it is important to moderate the foods in your diet if you want to keep yourself healthy and fit. Number 10. Bagel with cream cheese. Hey, oh, God. <laughs> you think the, she's hungry? The most We're starting the list off with a classic quickie for those who must rush out the door. I haven't slept for 34 hours, but a bagel is the answer. A cinnamon raisin bagel with a little cream cheese. Actually, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna get a bagel. There's no denying it. Warm bagels are almost irresistible, and businesses like the Einstein Bros have only made them better. However, these bread products aren't a breakfast you should rely on every day. Here you go, scooped bagel cream cheese jam. Thank you. You saved the scoopings. I love you. Bagels contain a high amount of carbohydrates and fiber, as well as calories overall. Thus, your blood sugar could spike from consuming this fattening food. On top of that, studies have found that bagels have doubled their calories within the past two decades. Bagels and donuts. Round food for every mood. <laughs> If you're craving that bagel, though, go for one with whole grains and pair it up with some fruits or veggies. Number 9. Bacon Bacon. That's bacon. Are you trying to poison me? These greasy strips of pork are the heart attacks of the morning. These days, it's almost impossible not to see something bacon-flavored, ranging from chips and sodas to lip balm and deodorant. High in fat and cholesterol, it's a wonder how we managed to survive eating one strip without a mild stroke. Bacon! Because of the levels of saturated fat, bacon will only increase your risk of heart disease and or stroke. Here! Eat the bacon! It'll lubricate your heart! Write it out! Write it to hell! It may be hard to resist the thousands of different foods we wrap in bacon, but for your health's sake, it may be in your best interest to eat as little of this as possible. Just give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Wait, wait. I worry what you just heard was... Give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Number 8. Breakfast Sausages I'm sitting here eating a breakfast sausage. <laughs> oh yeah, this is way worse than bacon. Beware of this meat when eating breakfast from major food chains, as it could prove to be a deadly combination. Often served on sandwiches or alongside pancakes or waffles, sausages are way more fattening than its bacon brethren, and just as greasy. They can contain twice as many calories as bacon, and still contain more calories than bacon when they're meatless. So if we can't have bacon and we can't have sausages, what should we eat for our protein? My meat sticks. Yeah, I need protein. I exert a lot of energy when I'm sleeping, dreaming that I'm winning the Olympics. Meats with lower amounts of sodium are great, but egg whites are a great alternative along with protein-rich smoothies. And check it out, egg white omelet, high protein smoothies, then I thought we could put on our running shoes. I need to go. cut you off right there, Chief. Number seven, pan dulce. A flower for my pan dulce. Let it. The more food, the better. Let's put Liliana in a food coma. Bread with sugar coating? You would think we'd be talking about cinnamon rolls, but this Latin American sweet roll is just, well, look at it. Also known as conchas, pan dulce is typically a baked pastry with colored icing coating all around it. But what about without the sugar topping, you may ask? An average pan dulce without sugar contains 235 calories, with 72% of those being purely carbohydrates and 1% being dietary fiber. I don't know, you look like you're in great shape, but maybe you have like one cheat day, like a carb, carb blowout, you know, I don't know. No. While studies show that it can help regulate metabolism, it would be in one's best interest to go for some fruits and some yogurt instead. Number six, cereal with more than 10 grams of sugar. I uh, know we said one sugar cereal. You're gonna deny me the Captain? We got a whole box of Fruit Loops at home. In my fragile state, you're gonna deny me peanut butter Captain Crunch? Chances are your kids have gotten you hooked on Captain Crunch or Honey Smacks. While we can see why kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which only has nine grams of sugar per serving, there are many cereals that contain too much sugar than the recommended daily intake. Chris, I think you've had too much sugar cereal. I think I haven't had enough! Consuming cereals with at least 10 grams of sugar will basically set you up for a sugar crash later in the day. Thankfully, there are many healthier options in your local breakfast aisle if you can't give up cereal. Cheerios and Kicks are usually the first options, but just make sure you look over that handy nutritional info block next time you're grocery shopping. Mmm, this Kick cereal is good tasting. And it's good for you. Nah. 
Number five, breakfast sandwiches. Oh, there goes a breakfast sandwich. No, no, let's hurry. We can still do Luke's. While we all enjoy speeding through drive throughs before work, this is not good for you in any way. The eggs used at some fast food restaurants may contain solvents used for antifreeze, while the meats are just as greasy. Don't forget, our first three entries, bagels, bacon, and sausages, also play a prominent role in the world of breakfast sandwiches. If that wasn't bad enough, many of your favorite combo sandwiches can clock up to 800 calories, with high amounts of carbs, sodium, and of course, a rainbow of fats. Why don't you take my breakfast egg sandwich and eat it in your room? <sighs> In case you change your mind. If you can't give up breakfast sandwiches, you're better off making your own at home with raw eggs and meat to cook yourself. Maybe include a few veggies if you can. Veggie sandwich and a grapefruit. A veggie sandwich and a grapefruit? What are you turning into? A healthy person. <laughs> Number four, croissants. Hey, who wants to share a croissant with this guy? Croissants, I love croissants. Oh yeah. Croissants may appear innocent with their light and fluffy texture, but it's high on this list for being nothing more than cooked dough and butter, and sometimes sugar. In fact, an average croissant reaches a total of around 300 calories. That's more than the bagel. Wake up, sleepyhead, I brought fresh croissants for breakfast. These crescent rolls contain high amounts of sodium, cholesterol, and saturated fat. In other words, ugh. And since you're shaped, like a croissant is No question of She's gotta love a guy like you Too much of this stuff could possibly lead to higher risks of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, or even death. Yes, they may be mighty tasty, but after learning about this, we might be staying away from these for quite a while. Ooh, mini croissants! No matter what I say, stop me when I've had 16! Number 3. Fried Chicken and Waffles Who wants chicken and waffles? How did we bring food in here? Where do we even begin with this one? Not only is the meal including the fattening waffle, but also with fried chicken thrown in the mix, we're looking at a deadly duo that clocks in around 1,000 calories. Fried chicken is a deadly food on its own, with most of its contents filled with fat and cholesterol. Fried chicken is fry fry chicky chick. Waffles, on the other hand, are mostly fat, sodium, and cholesterol. Basically, we're looking at a visit from heart disease. I'm making waffles. Oh! Surprisingly enough, there is a healthier alternative where waffles are made from whole wheat dough and chicken is oven baked, not fried. I apologize, but my chicken and waffles is totally fine. Number two, Pop Tarts. Have you ever put butter on a Pop Tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Don't be fooled by the packaging. You may read, made with real fruit, but Pop Tarts are also baked with other ingredients. Fruit is merely a small percentage, and the same goes for many different toaster pastries you find at the bakery. The rest of it contains GMOs, artificial colors, and sugars aplenty. Does anyone want the rest of this Pop-Tart? <laughs> hey, I might. <laughs> Read the back of any flavor, and you'll find that many chemicals and toxins make up these pastries, some of which even have questionable links to cancer. Did we mention it also contains MSGs? That's especially present in one of the newest flavors, maple bacon Pop-Tarts. Much like its flavors, the true dangers behind these on-the-go meals are almost too crazy to believe. Puppeteers. Puppeteers? Pop-Tarts? Did you say you have Pop-Tarts? Marty, I love you. You're really high. Before we unveil our unhealthiest top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Oh my, what is that heavenly smell? Scones. I have never smelled anything as heavenly as this. <laughs> Wait till you taste them. Mmm, this French toast is so good. You have to try it. <laughs> nice bite, Nardo. Eat the granola bar. Why are you being so nice to me? I can't remember the last time you said two words to me that weren't you and suck. Number one, donuts. Hey, Homer, slow down. You're gonna choke or something. Don't tell me how to eat donuts. You might as well be eating cake for breakfast. These days, we're putting donuts in all sorts of different foods. Some can be turned into sundaes. Others are served at breakfast and are only loading up the calories. Yeah, we're looking at you, Dunkin' Donuts. We have donuts stuffed with chocolate, candy, jam, even pure icing. I'll call you. Good enough. Good enough. You promised you'll call. Leave the donuts. You aren't just looking at large amounts of sugar, but trans fat and a large number of artificial flavors are found in many of today's donuts. So they put the plate of donuts out here to test your guilt. If you don't touch it, you're guilty. I ate the whole plate. The whole plate. 
Prepare for a large spike in your blood sugar and expect to be much hungrier in another hour or two. Donut? What's a donut? <laughs> <gasps> it's raining again. Do you agree with our list? Not a sausage problem. It's more in the meatball area. What are some breakfast foods that are just as unhealthy as the ones we mentioned? For more nutritious top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. I don't want a giant penis or a rocket trip to Venus. I don't want to win the lottery. I just want to squat and gobble till I'm dizzy and I wobble in a butterfruit and Joe Todd dream.